This is a Vamuel Goldwyn production. I had uh, an infection of the Yablons one time. <laughs> ah, the Charlie Daniels Band is now the Charles Band. If you ever go down to the Woolly Swamp. <laughs> Terrible name for laser eye surgery. Scares away the customers. <laughs> Come on down to Millford. Free popsicles for the kids. So what, they just got people from data entry to be in this movie? Johnny Russo, I remember her from... Uh, maybe not. The Keenan wind comes blowing in. You are the wind beneath my Keenan. <laughs> oh, isn't he the guy? Brother of Bob Mike Anko. Ah, so you know it won't be funny. Heir to the Arnold Stang fortune. As Dr. Cassaba Mellon. <laughs> Brother of Neil Steve Enko. Bro. I saw a wool man drinking a pina colada at Trader Vicks. Wow, Roddy McDowell and Dave Allen. No reason for them to tell me all this. I'm no good at names. Whoa, is he an American band? I hope he comes to our town and helps us party at town. <laughs> These credits give you a chance to finish your popcorn, talk a little, decide to see another movie. <laughs> Music has a decidedly Hawkwind feel to it. I think it's more like a sort of a Mike Oldfield, McHenry Spring, Rick Wakeman, Jean Michel Jarre, Keith Emerson, Gentle Giant, uh, Tomita Audubon, Kraftwerk, synergy sort of thing. I certainly hope we see those credits at the end of the movie, too. And action. Cut. Beautiful. Those plains were once filled with wild broccoli like this. Mm. Fievel goes west. Oh, looks like Trent Reznor ran out of gas. Poor guy. It was after the Acropolis. Roxy! <laughs> Somebody please pull this garbage disposal off my arm. Ah, oh, Robert Smith is in a good mood today. <laughs> Edward CD player hand. Boy, the Hulk has lost weight. Remember when he was over there? That was a good part of the movie. <laughs> Man, if I could just get some butter to slip in there, try to slide this thing off. Well, back to whatever I was doing. Hmm? Norelco's plan for world domination. <laughs> Even its name spells Merry Christmas. I'm hunting spacecraft. <laughs> we wish to welcome you to Denver's airport. Oh, great. E.T. calls, we come, and he's not here. Hey, Yertle, you left your shell in the ship. Hey. Hey, Wally, come out here, help me find Roswell. <laughs> hey, get my shirt all stretched out. I told you to ask directions at the Gorlon station at Zing Ding 5, but no, you blad seemed ahead of that guy on bar tool. Just past this football. Stop reading my thoughts. Are you reading my thoughts? <laughs> Look out! It's Gino Vanelli. Tonight on a very special Virginian. Good shooting, Xanthar. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> ah, Christina's World 3001. Help me, Spock. Spock. I know what you're thinking. Did I fire six Gorlocks or only five? Okay, Crow, that's, that's enough. <laughs> <gasps> the key to the Amico bathroom. Am I good, huh? Who's the king? <laughs> Look out, easy. Oh, I love airplanes. Is that a Cessna? No, I think it was a Piper. Now well, let's get out of here. Huh. Might have used a little too much buckshot here. Ruin the meat. Closer shave, cleaner shave, smoother all the way. Help! A giant bong is attacking me, y'all. Oh. Mike, this is how I've always pictured your room. Am I far off? <laughs> well, well, off to weight loss clinic. <laughs> Get him off me! Get him off! Oh, it's just my sheets. 
Somehow his mustardy shorts don't help. <laughs> These are relatively clean, I guess. Oh, hi. Crap, I'm still in oh, hi. Randy Johnson? Oh, it's her. So here's my slim fast, metrical, correct all. Excuse me, are you my mother? Uh, here is her food supply for the month. It's in the train case right there. Flesh is a nice color for a house. Ooh. Sean Cassidy in Walking Tall. Where are you headed, Tubbo? Stay and have a quiz with me at the junkie table. Ah! ah! She's one of the turtle aliens. I'm sorry I called you fat. Come on, let's pop Amos and watch Days. Man, if those pants blow, it's going to be like a piano exploding. I've um, got this invitation to go to Acapulco. Yeah, that bounced off his head. <laughs> it's just too good to miss. You got your James Spader lessons and... Well, my chemical peel is starting to hurt. I'd better get going. What do you want? Mama, you've been to Acapulco. How many times do you want to go to Acapulco? Till they stop asking me, sweetheart. And until I stop killing men with my hip bones. Oh, I hate you. There's a box of Weetabix. That should last you the month. I'm going to go untie the Nazi helmet for the roof. Is this under all aversion therapy? You can actually see her lose weight. Huh? Ah, now on to movie three. <laughs> hey, Kung Fu got a van. Another slice of your life here, Mike, huh? Just you, <laughs> ribbing a highway, your Dixie Dregs tapes. <laughs> well, I'm a friend, the stranger in the back sedan. He's so happy his dingle ball shipment came in. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Preston takes a solo. Wow, 70s gold is a great buy. A lot of good stuff on here. I'll warrant that van is still on the road. Hey, uh, Gary. Hey, uh, Jason. Hey, Scotty. Woo! Ah, uh, downtown Hugo. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is the long version of whatever the heck song this is. We're gonna go around the block until the song's over. This guy killed himself when the Edgar Winter group broke up. This guy has put more rolled up towels under more doors. And this is one of the most innovative synth players I know of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sunny day, got a pleasant buzz going. Hey, Mike. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I gotta stop and listen to this part. It's so cool. Hey, his van's got a poop catcher on the back. <laughs> wow, and you thought Willie Ames was hot. Whew. Yeah, I did. Jeez, stupid realtor job. I'm sure I gotta wear a shirt just to show a dumb house. Hey, Spicer, I'm here for the dope. <laughs> It's me, Billy. He woke up Ram Das. Password. It's mm -hmm. me, Colonel, Billy Duncan. I just want to see Kathy. Buy your own paper. You get off of these premises. Oh, come on, Colonel. I only want to see Kathy. What about? I want to see if Electra tore up her new shoes. Oh, that's private. That's private. Yukon Cornelius. Hmm. What is this stuff you're pulling on me? You're just like those guys, those white collar guys down there at Cherry Point. Keenan started early today. Everything is hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Operation Sand Dust. Hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Everybody connected with it. Hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Everybody except me. Because I know something they didn't know I knew. Hey. Now you get away from that. Hey, look, just because that mine went off in your helmet. And... Bastards are all alike. With your disguises and your tricks and your hula hoops. Pony and... ideas. Yeah. Colonel, if you just call Kathy. Now you leave Kathy out of this. You leave. Uh, Julie. Oh, gee, what's what's her name? I just said it. Uh, the you. Thing. Boy, ever since the colonel got back from the Spanish-American War. I know. I'll seek refuge in 20 explosive hits by 20 explosive stars. Operation Sand Dust. Grandpa? Anna Nicole Smith and her husband. Operation Sand Dust. Old black water, keep on rolling. Come on, your pork backs are ready. Grandpa. Snap out of it, you old bastard. Grandpa. 
come on inside. Why'd you open all the cans of soup, Grandpa? The Army of the Potomac has us on the run, sweetie. <laughs> His eight tracks about to change tracks. <laughs> oh yeah, you do a lot of wacky tobacco, Mike. Huh? <laughs> a lot of Mary Jane, <laughs> huh? oh, jokey, yeah, right. smoky. Uh. <laughs> what do you keep smoking that stuff for? Skarsky and Hutch have been together a little too long. Don't cost nothing. I take it from those kids. Now, you keep smoking that, you're gonna get us thrown off the force. <laughs> Look, are you ready for some football? <laughs> you ever notice how Heli Selassie is God? Now you're getting horny. Great. Hey, <laughs> that feels good. I'll yeah. oh, give me a puff. And I gotta go home and get ready for some football. <laughs> you know, now that I think of it, Sister Mary Elephant is really funny. Now they targeted this movie to lonely bass fishermen. In other words, bass, bass fishermen. fishermen. Wow. Who was that? I think it's that Bill Duncan. Hmm? Bill Duncan kid, huh? Yeah. Well, let's go get him. Let's find out if he's ready for some football! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the famous squealing tires on a dirt road. You idiot! I'm a dumb scrawny cracker. <laughs> They're at least as funny as Cheech and Chong. Mm, oh, definitely. Ron Howard pops the clutch, signals, checks both ways, and proceeds gently into traffic, politely inviting people to eat his dust. He looks like a bush baby. <laughs> I'm going to push it up to 17. My heart is in my throat. Oh, wait, that's not my heart. <laughs> Pull over, squeal like a pig. <laughs> All right, force him over. And quit scanning me. <laughs> oh, a horse and knuckle breakfast almost came up. You know, Mike, it's hard not to make a Dukes of Hazard comment. Yes, try, honey. I will. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Suddenly, I long for a Hal Needham film. <laughs> yeah, what do we got? Another citizen who isn't ready for some football. <laughs> Nice hinder. Hmm. <laughs> wow, it's not very good detail painting. You never learn, do you, boy? Hey, can't you let me go just this once? I'm gonna blow my insurance. I'm already paying double. Yeah, that's all right. Your mama's got enough money. Kind of heavy set, though, ain't you? By the way, how is your mama these days? I think I resent your attitude. Never mind. Just give me the ticket, Officer Unger. Down there, boy, I'll make you a star. Yeah, eat me a fuzzy marshmallow. <laughs> Hey, you know cursive. You ticket for going 20 and a 30. Well, you'll excuse me. There's a bag of mama burgers waiting for me. <laughs> oh, man, it's uphill to the car. I don't know if I can make it. Put your entire head in his belly button. <laughs> Do we get him again, Pete? <sighs> no. Too damn hot. Anyway, all my rowdy friends are coming over later. <laughs> Dirty and hairy. <laughs> when you first saw this, you laughed so hard you spilled your bong water, didn't you, Mike? Callahan, no! <laughs> oh, those lovable Southern California crackers. Hi, I'm Max Keller. You should rub salt on those leeches on the side of his van. Well, I better stock up on Ollie Joe Prater and Jerry Clower tapes. He's going to get a new baseball cap with a fake dog turd on it. <laughs> hey, it's that gas station that Frank Lloyd Wright didn't design. <laughs> wow, if there was ignorant talk radio in the 70s, I sure would agree with it. Those boot cut jeans from Moon Boots? Karen Carpenter's phone booth. <laughs> okay, I'll give you your Coke. Stop hitting me. I'm going to drink the hell out of this Coke. Coca-Cola's going to need a PR campaign just to undo the damage this scene is doing. <laughs> oh, man. Leaf Garrett did more harm than he'll ever know. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. 
Hey, you wouldn't believe what just happened to Dealey Plaza. Wow, he teases the gas pumps mercilessly. Well, let's recap the movie so far. Somebody went to Acapulco and somebody almost bought gas. <laughs> just when I was considering not committing suicide, it was finally coming together for me. The accelerator pedal stuck. Help us! <laughs> hey, you want to go drive around gas station with us? You see, he's out early this morning, Froggy. I bet he ain't got our reason, Chuck. No, he wouldn't like that kind of party. It's a little too he's rough for him. <laughs> I've been up all night, and I don't feel sleepy. Hey, Froggy, you think our boy here would like to give us a little race? Okay. Billy, hell, he never races. Who the hell told you that? I'll show you a race. Just let me get in my dad's electric supply van. <laughs> an inverted world where the spazzes make fun of the cool guys. <laughs> Stephen Stills and Bill Gates. <laughs> All right. How much handicap you want? <sighs> ah, the Sinclair station is open. They got an air hose. <laughs> Makes me glad rural America is dying. <laughs> 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 Lady, when I'm with you, I'm smiling. So, okay, thanks. Oh, oh, oh. Good thing my frost and tip took. <laughs> Pepsi gave him big bucks to place Coke in this movie. <laughs> well, the Navajos get all the good land. Lyle Swan's motorcycle from Time Rider. Hmm? I'll just pull up here so that I can find this thing and then we can get the movie going. I really am just dust in the wind, man. They are so right. Yeah, on his day off from pizza delivery, he sure knows how to live life. I'd like to call my horse with no name, but doesn't have a name. <laughs> Good God, he's out of coke. Uh, Billy, go to expression B. Funky Winker Bean. <laughs> this is just like the beginning of the film, where it may or may not have been my dream. Where's its mom? Wow, Albert Bell did cork his bad. <laughs> oh, this is so great. I needed hooker headers bad. Think of all the dope I can smoke with this. <laughs> Man, to think I was depressed when Battlestar Galactica got canceled. Can't we just visit mom in Alcapulco? He always waltz around when he finds old Thorin's tone arms. Oh. Hope he's pointing it at his heart. Da-da! Someone threw away a perfectly good arm remover. <laughs> da, 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 da. A daisy red rider repeating rifle. Thanks, Dad. Now, let's go find some ptarmigan. <laughs> hmm? pow, pow, pow. After all that, it's pop pow, pow. <laughs> Once you're over the age of 11, you should not say pow. Mm. Pow, pow. Please, pow. stop. stop it. Oh, Come on. Don't, don't. Please. No, no, no. I think he's doing Frampton Comes Alive. <laughs> it's even worse. So it's the thing that makes you waltz. <laughs> I guess. Won't he be surprised when he finds out it doesn't go pow, but swish. <laughs> oh, found it. Now he has carte blanche to the amical men's room. <laughs> Hopefully that thing has a shirt buttoning attachment. <laughs> uh, pow. <laughs> Do the apes know they're filming in the Forbidden Zone? Ah. One of Mr. T's understated pieces. You know, those apes who stack boxes to get to the bananas figure mm -hmm. things out a lot faster than this. Yeah, I think you are going to detail my van for $75. <laughs> huh? What's that? You want me to go to gym class? I don't think so. I think I'll have that leather vest, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we seem to be involved in laser blasting now. Right. Moses. Yes, Yahweh in a can. If you want to summon Yahweh. 
Uh, you might want to calibrate your iron sights, kind of pulling to the right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay, just a 2,000-year-old saguaro. Don't worry about it. Georgia O'Keeffe's massive limousine. <laughs> ah, your film crew, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you want a Dick Butkus mug? A little orange ball for your aerial? Hello? The Bill Bixby line of David Burney clothing. <laughs> Excuse me, I just got crabs from your toilet. Oh, look at all the eight tracks for Annie and Teicher, Captain and Tennille. Ah. <gasps> Warren, I. Oh, it's you. Oh, I owe you. Uh. That'll be, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, five bucks for the hits. butt nudge. And... Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you coming. That'll be eleven fifteen with the oil. Here's my Merle Haggard visa. I assume you take that. <laughs> oh, my new club magazine. I should wait till I get to the hotel. But... Thank you, Mr. Craig. I threw in the nudie calendar for free. How far is it to the nearest hotel? You stopping here? I could be persuaded. You don't like this town, buddy? Oh, sure, sure. Just a few blocks to the end of town, there's a motel. Or there's the Ziffo B&B, &B. that's nice. You could go down... Oh, sorry. So we just drove off and I never saw him again. The beautiful, sweet man in the Palm Beach suit. <laughs> just drove out of my life. She's floating. Get my motor running, head out on the highway. <laughs> Oh, pretty steep grade here. Oh. I'm in the weeds here. <laughs> I know she's there. But don't lose her. Hold on. Don't. Ah. There she is. The air feels nice when I ride like this. He. <laughs> Billy told me he'd meet me at the old creosote dump site. The county really provides good service at those picnic sites. Look, a bottle of Beaujolais. Right. And... I'd like to buy some sweet corn. Billy! Or I'd like to buy a Turkish rug. Did they need to come to Angkor Wat just to have a picnic? Mm -hmm. Well, I might as well pray to Val while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well... Hey, say Billy again. That'll liven things up. Well, maybe I'll pick up a dozen sucker minnows while I'm here. Oh, well, he hasn't been cremated. Oh, did my parents burn down the house and move away? So we're watching someone waiting for someone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The point when it stops being a movie. It's like watching an aquarium. Yep. <gasps> this is so something. Suddenly, that scene out in the desert seems taut and well executed. <laughs> oh, you keep this relationship fresh. So now that scene worked because you expected a bear to jump out. Oh, you're more trouble than you were. Oh, my. Am I? I'll kill you for saying that. I'll kill you, I tell you. Oh, oh, there's a folding shovel in there. <laughs> oh, you don't look like the cat has swallowed the cream. Where have you been all morning? Jeez, your bra looks like a pair of sunglasses. Not waking people up at the crack of dawn, I hope. Oh, that's where they found Tony Orlando. Uh, Can't you be more ordinary? <laughs> more ordinary? Man, you'd have to work at that. Grandpa's so mad right now. He's going to shoot you on sight next time he sets foot on the property. Ah, we have someone to root for. Mm. I do believe you're more ordinary, though. You wouldn't be my Billy, would you? Mm. Peaceful here. Mm. She was always this way. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just you and me in the sky. Dog named like Boo. A cup. Giant blue cup. Yeah. Yeah, hey, look, can we start mashing now? Where the dregs. Pour it out. Just what I want to see. David Soul and Sandra Locke going at it. <laughs> There's something so dark in you sometimes. It just sends shivers up and down my spine. Like when you crank Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> oh, 
These nature videos of big spiders going at it are more appealing. Crazy? You want to be late? For what? For Fanny's birthday party. We're all due there about three. I don't want to go to no party. Come on, I'm cooking a pizza on the engine block. Well, Mr. Billy Duncan, if you don't want to go, I could always accept an invitation by a certain Chuck Baran. Over my dead body. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Yes. I think it's the Sturman. Does that sound right? I don't know. Could be something bit me when I was... When you was what? I was fooling around in the desert this morning. But the desert gave you a hickey? You better put something on there. It looks pretty mean. He died. Meanwhile, on Quark. You report? Yeah, I'll have to. I'm thinking of getting an ass reduction, Ted. <laughs> you ever just curse evolution? I heard a store named Radio Shack. It's just crap. Adjust the comb filter here. So this is DSS, huh? Howdy do! Hey, read between the lines. <laughs> uh, your move, sir. You called us. Don't start. <laughs> well, did you? <laughs> oh, please, sir. We've seen laser blast. This is how advanced the aliens are. They can edit the scene down. <laughs> Boy, when the movie starts showing you parts of itself, you know you're in trouble. Look what the hairy nobud is doing, the fool. Their puny human butt pods fell off thousands of years ago. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. I think we get the gist of it. Uh, is there a point to your little call, sir? Sir? Get out there and sell, sell, sell. Not me, I admit it. <laughs> this beautiful panel could be yours. Yeah, back to Earth. Same old, same old. Iron Eyes Cody. Oh, no, it's Michael Landon. What else could go wrong? Good thing my slacks have memory. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck on a very personal journey. Huh. Well, I thought I was supposed to film a Territon commercial out here. Did ancient astronauts make dirt bunnies? <laughs> France, where the ladies were. <laughs> Another Buddhist monk. It's Coleman Francis Mountain. Well, I've come to where the flavor is, but nothing's happening. Place in France where the ladies. <laughs> place in France where the ladies. <laughs> place in France. I wish it'd stay in one key. There's a place in France. And I wish they'd finish a phrase now and again. <laughs> There's a place in France where the ladies wear no pants. Yeah, bring it down now. Talk about that place in France. Yeah, where the ladies ain't wearing no knickers at all. Hey. Well, who wants cake? <laughs> oh, man, if Pauly Shore is in this. Yes, teens love their cake pool parties. <laughs> It's not really a good Chippendale outfit. <laughs> They're so excited they can barely talk to each other. Look, why don't I slice some, and you can all come back in about ten minutes, and I'll be ready. <laughs> Scott Bale class. Get your red hot Franks here. Squish, 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 squish. Oh, Mama, wouldn't Chuck like to give you his red hot Frank right now? From what I hear, Chucky, it ain't so hot. He's got affidavit. She undercut the subtle nuance of my wiener joke. <laughs> there. I think I've taught you not to rebuff my wiener innuendos. Mercifully, the wiener debate ended peacefully, but it could have gone another way. 
She really opened up the party. Now it's fun. <laughs> hey, Stoker, Murphy, Gubba. Mm. All movies are more tightly edited than this. It's never far from his trusty van. Not really. God, you're fatter than mom. How about a swim? A minute. I feel kind of lazy right now. <laughs> Oh, thank you for saying that. That was so sweet. Well, at least he dressed up for the party. Should we ask what the bruises are from? Billy, Billy, watch me die, Billy. Billy, I'm gonna die in the pool. Watch, 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 watch. I'm going home. The movie isn't fun anymore. Hey, I can go under the water and count to five. Whee! Hey, Billy, Billy, hey, Billy, Billy. I am so baked. Yes, it's a Manson family reunion. Oh, hey, here's something. Oh, oh. oh, man, those brownies must be loaded. Oh. It's Rover from The Prisoner. <gasps> Smaller. Now, I myself have never been a natural frolic. No, no that was very funny. Come on, hey, leave me alone. I'm not kidding. So, what, is the alien hiding at the end of the pool? Is... Or not? Just eat your spare ribs in the pool. Bike That's rack. fine. Bike rack! Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Why do I know one wants to play? Cindy, you need to get an eating disorder. Guys like anorexic girls. I'll take a bite. Some birthday. Outside of you, Kathy, I don't think anyone would have come if it weren't for the pool. Be silly, Franny. You've got lots of friends. Yeah, as long as I don't run out of pools. Well, how about all the gay men who like you? Um, I'm gonna go change. Will you tell Billy if he gets up? Oh, she certainly is a sparkling hostess. Mm -hmm. Yes, non-skinny women are inherently so unhappy. Then, the leading spokesman for the dissident army said it would have nuclear capability. Is there been anything on the news about the dissident army While thing? Well, France today <laughs> exploded its 28th atom bomb. And on they tell me cake is bad for me. And what about radiation? Uh, you're fine. What about it? Have you seen Kathy? She went inside to get changed. Oh, I'd stay longer, but you're real fat. Personally, I can never get enough sheet cake. You couldn't hear the darn thing except... Hey, it's the horse kid. Sometimes I worry I'm not shallow enough. Boy, he's popular. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna burn some cigarettes in her dad's carpet. You leave the movie for the parade of homes? I try to speak. Yeah, he's lured by the siren song of 70s hits. <laughs> oh, well, you look that, huh? Shapeless mass. Boy, you can really see how he's so dark and not ordinary. Mm -hmm. A teen at a teen party, what could be darker? Hey guys, I'm back from the rumpus room. Everything checks out. <laughs> you seen Kathy? No, I haven't seen her. Hey, how are things in the Blue Lagoon? <laughs> I guess I'll check out the hat collection. Hey, I'm in here. There's a dozen naked teenage girls in there. That's what happens at these teen parties. It's true. Has anyone seen the director? Just looking for a light out here. No one wants to eat cake, and he can't find Kathy. Now the movie is really starting to find its purpose. <gasps> Kathy's jockstrap. <laughs> and Elway takes him down. <laughs> Don't even pretend, Eddie. <laughs> Super, Eddie Deason. A Microsoft meeting goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Illegal use of a Deason. Come on, bastard. Oh, footfall. Be a hero. He wants to get his head broken. Be a hero. Please, nothing happened. Please leave him alone. Good job, John. You could have waited for oh. us, Mike. Well, I just wanted to get in here. Is a cat laying on the organ or something? <laughs> Great, he lives next to Alan Parsons. I'm not Adam Rourke. <laughs> Powered by a 20 horse Evan Root, this Dodge Charger re. <laughs> Love the one you're with. Love the one you hit. 
I don't know, Shamil, Shamazel, whatever. Anybody that climbed up here on the cliff and they can't get down, can you call somebody? Uh, I got my ankle caught between two rocks. <laughs> I'm pretty stuck. Hello? Anybody? I had the most marvelous time. I'll bet. He's overlooking something, isn't he? Dennis Cole. His horn is caught in some kind of bebop rhythm. Just let me decent by ya. <laughs> Billy's so good, he'll just wait up there until you call him. I am the Lizard King. Sorry, he had it on high. <laughs> so how many cars did he blow up? <laughs> wow, must have the wrong size air filter. That was Cochise's charger? The loss of any Dodge Charger is an awful thing. Yeah, they thought the spent plutonium rods would be fine in the trunk. Hunger, Chief, you hear me? Great. Dumb cop and dumb cop. They're dumb cops. <laughs> Great, another Larry Storch wannabe here. And how are we doing this morning, information desk? Good. Well, it beats me how you can swallow down a whole hot tamale first thing in the morning. I just feel like you might not be ready for some football. You know what the line in your stomach must look like? Well, it's pink and it secretes a layer of protective mucus. That... On it. Give me a bite. He's eating his own hand. Are you saying I have an oral fixation? Chief Hunger, get in here. Chief Hummer? What? Nice of you to show up. You're welcome. Come on over to the Walden place and get a statement from Franny Walden about that car blew up last night. Yep, Whopper and Fries. You want anything? Get an handle You got it. Thanks. Oh, and hey, let's be careful out there. Hey, they got the name of your favorite band on the side of the car there. <laughs> <laughs> These two were in True West for many years. Yeah, I think I see a big jackrabbit back there. I'm going to focus on that. Yeah, interesting country, the high desert. I think it was pretty lifeless, but there's actually a lot going on. You know, I'd like to hear about it sometime. Oh, well, we got time now. <laughs> we should probably get back to the movie. Oh, I suppose we're right. I shot the Mio, but I didn't shoot the other guy. Is that Fish's wife typing? Bernice! Fish, what are you doing? Typing a novel? Banging away as usual, sir. <laughs> That's funny every morning. <laughs> this movie packs the unflinching humor of a Dick Brown panel. <laughs> hey, look, he's got electric paneling. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Hey, the other car in town. I think they were going for a touch of evil feel, but they got a touch of something else. <laughs> <laughs> the president stops at the Westward Ho. Why did he take the long way around? Let's see, that, took, that one's locked, too. I gotta go get a hanger. God, They've really captured the stark beauty of this town. Mm -hmm. And action. Action! Come on in here. Hi, your copier down? <laughs> what can I do for you, fella? I presume you've heard of Tattletail. First, you take your feet off the desk. Second, take the cigar out of your mouth. And third, you stand up. Fourth, you lick me. Who the hell are you? Now, let me show you my Sam's Club membership. A man bearing this wallet is crazy. Do nothing he says. Excuse me, Mr. Vega. I didn't know. I gotta go buy Fish's laxative. Wow, who's the skirt? Mm. Won't you uh, sit down, sir? They may sit down, they may not. Sheriff, where are you currently buying your office supplies? If I were to ask you if anything unusual happened to you in the last 24 hours, what would you say? I don't know, nothing much. Except for the aliens landing. I did get this call about a car blowing up over the old Walden place, but... Uh, and Chuck can put his fist in his mouth. That's just uh, kid stuff, you know, a prank, kids fooling around. I want a list of everyone up at the house when it happened, and I want the town sealed off. 
What do you mean, Mr. Craig? I mean no news flashes, no news leaks, no news period, unless I say otherwise. Understood? I understand, tan man with wallet. Understood? Hey, it's new shirt day. <laughs> Good thing my Zantigo salary affords me an endless supply of cars. Hey, Ford stands for fix or repair daily. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so bad today, Billy. So ah, good. I feel yeah. like an idiot going to the doctor. What about the lump on your chest? Oh, that's my nipple. Well, I got it from the Franklin Mint. <laughs> my God, Billy, it's bigger. You know nothing of my chest holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like. Well, Dr. Mellon, it is. Dude, I'm a dork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Please. Oh. Tonight on the very special Roddy McDowell Hospital. <laughs> well, it's big, but not as big as mine. So you have a doorbell on your chest. Hmm. I was in a monkey suit, then suddenly I was in this movie. Uh, hmm. Dear God, Mrs. Miller was a long, long time ago. Can I get dressed now, Dr. Miller? Certainly, bright eyes. Oh. Hmm. No, not yet. It is a plaw. Come in the other room. Take off my clothes. Lie down, Billy. But don't rip the paper. I'd like to save it. Well, I'm going in. Ding dong. Operation. Remove wrenched ankle. Mm. <laughs> what if I stomp up and down on your chest? Looks as if you have an impacted wood tick. Frankly, Billy, I'm baffled and grossed out. Ding dong, ding dong. That. It appears to be growing into a Wizard of Oz commemorative plate. Uh, come in. Did you feel that? <laughs> oh. Well, medical science has done everything possible. Goodbye. Quite frankly, uh... I don't know why I took this role. Billy, I must confess, I am puzzled. That is uh, quite close to the surface. Ooh. And what I would like to do is uh, try to remove it, if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. Sure, Doc. Whatever you think. Okay. Let me grab a big melon baller here. Really <laughs> dig in there. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a local to anesthetize the area. It won't hurt. Well, it will. I, I lied. And he delivers on his promise to give him a local. Duh, why did I do that? Now I have to fill it up again. Toodles. <laughs> the hell? I've never seen one of these. Yeah, good. Got the nose hair trimmers. The internal clipping. Wow. How green was my valley was a long time ago. Oh, I spoke many a great doobie with this. Yes. Now, the makeup may have to be patched after this, but there shouldn't be any scarring. Well, it's a St. Paul Winter Carnival medallion. Air shift. Now, you be careful. That doesn't get infected, huh? Uh -huh. You okay, Billy? Sure. Doc patched me up just fine. Uh, oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, give me a call in a couple of days because I ain't gonna run that specimen over to Springfield myself tonight and I'll have the answer in about 12 hours. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Yes, thank you. They're at the kitty clinic. Would you mind cleaning up the examining room? I was getting into my ape roll and I threw some crap around. <laughs> uh, I've got to see if beyond the valley of the planet of the apes is a go. Yeah, Mike? Oh, God, I caught you at lunch, huh? Ooh. Surprised you noticed something like uh, lunchtime. How are you, Doc? Long time no see. Here, do uh, something with that. L listen, um, Mike, I, I want you to do me a favor. Sure, Doc. Sure. Well, I would like to bring a specimen over tonight. And, <laughs> no. Uh, no, after hours. I'm, I'm afraid it'll be around midnight. But would you wait? I'll be wearing my pen uh, Is that important? It could be. It probably isn't. I'll get there as soon as I can, but I am afraid it will be after midnight. I would be letting it all hang down. Thank you. 
Right, goodbye. Wait, I'm a lens crafter technician. What does he want with me? Again, true to his word, he delivers the specimen. Mm -hmm. This movie boldly states what it's going to do and does it. Uh, make sure there's a pin spot on Mr. McDowell's right ear. <laughs> this is one of my greatest specimens. I almost hate to give it away. Man, he's just begging to be abducted. It's George Jones as a Walmart greeter. <laughs> All righty then. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Roddy McDowell is Silkwood. Wow, he's really overdriving his headlights. Oh, no, his car turned into a sedan and crashed and exploded. We show you the scene to represent what would have happened. So this is how Roddy McDowell died? He's not dead. Oh. Well, at least he was wearing his seatbelt. <laughs> I believe this is Mannix, if I'm not mistaken. Answer up. Answer up? I need another neck rub. <laughs> Shut up, green boy. Can't believe you said that to me. Here's a silver cactus oven mitt. You know anything that'll shrink the swelling? Cool. Hey, we used to have one of these in school. Isn't that doorknob abnormally high? <laughs> what are you doing here so late? I'm calibrating my interferometer. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I've got to find out what time it is. He could play Gertrude Stein so easy. <laughs> uh, Peggy, would you look up some numbers for me, please? Two and nine. Uh, first, see if Dr. Mellon's at home. Wrap him for a hollow sound. If he's not, uh, try the sheriff's office. Michael Caine's puffy sister. <laughs> is this your coin? This movie is comprised strictly of second unit footage. <laughs> Hey, uh, we're still having trouble with our copier. This forced perspective is so phony. He's not really that big, you know. <laughs> we just save ourselves a mad bomber here. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Bad movies have taught us that sheriffs hold onto their belts a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We should call the lab in Springfield. Tell them we found what's left of Dr. Mellon. Uh, which Springfield? There's one in every state. Go ahead, you two. Where they present a formidable law enforcement team, I want huh? a list of everybody that's seen the doctor in the last 24 hours. Should I close off the island, I think Steve? Lives here did this. Let's get down to work, Sheriff. We're running out of time. What about the rights of that little girl? <laughs> hey, your sister wants her shirt back. <laughs> I figured out this kind of shirt. No complicated buttons to deal with. Oh, it hurts to get in my van with these tight jeans. I think we're supposed to like him because he has a van. You know, every time I come close to not hating him, I see those feet on the side of the van. <laughs> ah, they got that antenna to get some Elvin Bishop and Marshall Tucker music. <laughs> Thrill as the police forget something. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, break the stun. It didn't work. He'd make a pretty Sharon Glass. He's his own airbag. Oh. Billy, Billy, Billy. Man, I forgot what I was going to say. Something good, too. You're getting to be a real Dylan, James, boy. Must not react. Anybody calling for you every place? Uh, I can't hear you through the window. You, I see your lips moving. Where do you think you're going? Nothing. Man, just remember what I was going to say. Anything you say can be used to get you ready for some football. <laughs> I know where you're going. Boy, Camel Talk. Oh. Alan Fawcett. How do you know about Chuck's car being blown up? Chuck's carbon donuts? You no, know, it's what I heard when Kathy <laughs> picked me up this morning. Where'd you go? To Dr. Mellon's. Oh. I had the sore on my chest, and mm -hmm. Kathy thought I should let the doctor look at it. I don't like going to doctors, but... Uh, but it was Roddy McDowell. He made it fun. Do you mind showing us? Well, it's a Calvin Klein ad. <laughs> of course not. He's got a creamy center. Good God. Hey, you're no trip to Hollywood either. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. 
I'm not ready for football anymore. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. But we've already cast the part. You need a ride back, Billy? No, thanks, Sheriff. Make it. Man, I could eat him, tear off the wrapper, pop him in the microwave, one bite. <laughs> Everything seen and heard in this room stays here. Understood? Even the file cabinets? Understood. Absolutely. Never seen nothing like that. Yeah. And I've been to a county seat and everything. What was it? That's just what I'm going to go find out. Glad you could help, whoever you are. I just love these little mom and pop sheriff outfits. Oh, no, another dead dog. I gotta remember to crack a window. I should get my nose sharpened. Ah, oh, they're showing that he's a misunderstood rebel because he doesn't have a ride home. Are you a woman? <laughs> It's a treating microscope. Now merge carefully with the flagellum. And on the delicate cycle here. Now you're right. This data proves I'm a woman. <laughs> a little bit of that. Some of that there. There we go. They're looking at those old, weird, naked daguerreotypes. <laughs> so what do you like? Country or light rock, maybe? Or... I want you to know how much this has meant to me, whatever you're name is. That's do it tomorrow. I got a tanning appointment. The self-administered eye exam. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Well, I've given it every test I know. It's the, uh, it's the oddest thing. The oddest thing what? The material is nothing that comes out of this earth. There were some traces of burnt flesh, but the uh, mass of it is inorganic. You sure of that? No, I'm really only a dental hygienist. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'll tell you something else if you want to think I'm crazy. I've got grasshoppers taped to my back. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's growing. You're not crazy. Have you found anything to destroy? Oh, my Lord, heavens no, dear. No, darling. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Jordan Baker. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Hope the sex change operation goes all right. And my hair is perfect. Emergency alert one. Tonight on Cops. You know, I saw a Cops once where they pulled this skinny guy out from under a couch. No. <laughs> this sucks. I was supposed to headline. What now? I can use a coat. I think there are other issues between these two. Oh, man. Who's the well-lit person in back? <laughs> Say, I got my leg stuck in a mole hole over here. Um, David Bowie. Cool. Yeah, he knows how to use a Coke. I'd like to teach the world to get ready for football. <laughs> Give me some man. <laughs> you. Come on, stop using my Coke. I can use a John. Ah, test audience has responded well to bulbous crackers using the John. This is like Porky's without the charm. Oh, good. We get to see him unfurl his pants. <laughs> oh, damn. There's only six rolls of toilet paper left. All right. Watch out, Thunderbucket. You're about to meet your greatest challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody stop me. <laughs> Can I get a plunger? Duh. Ew, the smell. Wait, save the nut goodies. Save the pine tree air fresheners. Save the dirty trucker tapes. Thinking this and Roddy McDowell ate up about 90% of the film's budget. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just one gas station, but it's four. <laughs> well, they needed a remodel anyway. I built a fortress around your heart. Haven't we been through enough? Do you have to invite your van every time we do this? I can hear it breathing. Now, what do they need to grab from the cooler during the act? Was that it? 
Oh, well, good try. Mm. How different it all looks, Billy. It's my hands and stuff. Billy, you sleep? No. Of course not. I heard every word you said. Oh, then what did I say, then? How different it all looks, Billy. God, I hope they forgot to set the parking brake. It's provoking, break. you know that? Whatever that yeah, means. Ah, uh, musty army blanket and a pair of dirty sneakers always gets you in the mood, huh? Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, too close, too close. Yeah. <laughs> He's sucking the snake venom oh. out of the <laughs> place. Oh. Man, I, I agree with Abby. People should just cuddle. Oof. Oof. What is that? Can you show that? Ah. Oh. oh, Robert Ginty was a better kisser. This movie means two things to me. Sheet cake and back fat. If you could taste what I hear. It's pretty waxy in there today, Billy. I just hope she gets combat pay for this. Oh, well, I'll finish in town. Is it something you should have checked out? I mean, do you think it's physical or mental? Oh, well. Well, I gotta get back to my regiment. <laughs> Shouldn't the lockbox be on the house? What's a hand grenade necklace? Ooh, from the Sarah Coventry collection. Hmm. Now pull the pin and run! Oh, Billy, between you and the motor oil and your B.O. and the scabby hole in your chest, I just love you. These nipples look like jean rivets. Just when I thought he couldn't be less appealing. Well, that fired him up. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't she do that when she was kissing him? <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Oh, hang on. Well, they're just off County Road C going at it, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, we're making restitution to all who had sex with Billy. Although I'm not admitting any wrongdoing, we agree to compensate you for having had sex with Billy. Oh, hold on. Give me a second to get crazy here. <laughs> Chris Kringle in retirement. Hello, sir or ma'am. Do you need any law enforcement? Tony Craig. That would be a good name for you. Oh, Colonel. A couple words, I'd say. Well, oh, come in, come in. Who? A mouse die in your air conditioning? Okay. Yeah, it's mediocre, huh? Took it for a bigger finish. Maybe general? I wet myself today. You want to see? Yeah. Oh, that old smugglers will sneak up on you. <laughs> I bought the drapes too short, but I found a way to deal with it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Have you been yeah, helped? Yeah, they offered me an early retirement. I accepted. Hobson's choice. You know, with Meryl Streep and Kevin Klein oh. and all. Sit down, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you some pajamas? Oh, what's your problem? Have a drink? How about a little fabric softener for you? <laughs> well, I must have lost a quarter in there somewhere. Scenes cut from Roadhouse. <laughs> Let's see what else peeves me. I get that woman who asked me for two forms of ID. <laughs> He insists on bringing his leaf blower everywhere. Oh, he's scooping insects with his baleen. <laughs> wow, he's being outacted by a drain pipe. Okay. Filmed with husbands and wives cam. Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge of the destruction of Jared Sin through the portal of time. <laughs> Where the heck is commercial office suppliers? <laughs> oh, goody, my lucky spot. 22 to dispatch. Get around. Get around, children, get loud. You can be proud, yeah, be proud. Your rebel coach is out going to do it again. Today only, aliens golf free. <laughs> 
get around, get around, children, get down. You can get down, children, get loud. You can get loud and be proud. You can get proud, yeah, be proud. Your ramp goes south. This has got to be the best buggy in town. I can't wait till everybody sees us driving around in this. You know, I can't believe them insurance guys actually believe that stupid story about lightning. Shut up, Froggy. You know, Eddie looks like a meerkat. <laughs> These cars always look like they have angry faces. You know, I can't believe them Springfield dudes would actually believe that story about lightning. I mean, you gotta be stupid Froggy, to actually shut think shut up. It. Sure, Chuck, sure. Like before, when you asked me to shut up. Sure, sure. Come on, just blow the car up. <laughs> Eddie has a special car seat his friend puts him in. Eddie's like a puppy. You just have to keep hitting with a rolled-up <laughs> newspaper. Could be raining. Where? In town. I thought I saw lightning. Did you knock it off with that lightning crap? <laughs> they are just like Williams and Reed. <laughs> so, Servo, exactly what is the South going to do again? You know, different activities that they have done in the past that they'd like to okay, do, do again. Yeah. 45 speed limit? A plane? Wow, it's all coming together. This whole scene was just an excuse to play that great music. <laughs> you got me thinking about the South doing it again. It's just the South, okay? So I just asked him. Okay, this the spirit. Hey, look, 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 over there, over there, over there, over there. Look, 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 look. So he's observing the speed limit, I see. <laughs> this is so Coleman Francis right now. <laughs> he's taking Eddie to the vet to get fixed. Are you taking me to the big place? Yes, Eddie, you'll like it at the big place. I know. I'm Cherokee Jack. <laughs> That's Eddie Deason down there. Let's take him out. Uh, we still in the same movie? Hello. Well, this was so great when it was at the Omni Theater. <laughs> Look, a raccoon. <laughs> Sure, hell, but who are we and what are we doing in this film? And why was Eddie Deason waving at us? Tonight on a very special Simon and Simon. All I'll say is it's just Southern pride, Mike. There's no specific act they're going to do again. I know, that's it's fine. Awesome. Yeah. One tin soldier rides away. Ron Howard decides to take out Brother Clint. There, has to be on just right for me there. Could Leonard Malton be wrong and this isn't worth two and a half stars? <laughs> that could be a federal offense. Hmm. I'm gonna make that kid button the shirt if it's the last thing I do. I do, I forgot something. Well, Reno gave us the go ahead, let's do it. That's probably someone who did something. Well, let's shoot him. Oh, looked like Stuart Copeland for a moment. So, I mean, we shouldn't worry about the South. Don't, don't just lay off the South, okay? It's not really, it's just the feeling. So there's a label maker on top of the laser blaster. <laughs> you know, Mike, this film was run through a highly technical process called tension extraction before it was released <laughs> to the theaters. Or not, I couldn't be sure. Nipple check. Yep, nipples intact. Make sure when you do the scene, you don't direct any of this at the camera. Ego. The son of a bitch is still up. Yeah. We can't get this poster tube off my arm. Hello, Grand Rapids. Are you ready to rock and roll? Oh, we're just spraying paraquat, citizen. Go about your business. Red Zone Cuba 3, the destruction of Cherokee Jack. Hey, where'd they go? Hello? Ooh, that's a good way to tear your rotator cuff. Oh. Would you please blow up? This scene is dragging. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Indianapolis. We love you. Wow. Oh, that did it. J.D. Power and Associates ranked these guys the most loathsome in their class. This is fine right here. I don't want to get any closer to Eddie Deason. Mm -mm. 
Come on, Chuck, talk to me. Every time we go to a wedding, we get in a fight. Won't be long now. I get to pit the llama, right? Yes, it's the brand new Weed Whipper 2. Uh, uh, uh. Honey, isn't that the Johnson boy? What's he doing in our backyard? So servo, I mean... Oh, look, just lay off. You'll see. When the South does rise again, I'll be laughing. Me! Okay, me! All right, all right. Right. So how's this guy undo his fly when he has to go to the bathroom? Okay, get your butt off the window now, Eddie. Apparently Chuck pinned Eddie. Is this one of those movies based on a Jane Austen novel? Hey, Chuck, who's the creep? Hey, creep, you want to live? If you give the bum a real treat, a ride he'll never forget. <laughs> Yes! Do Shoot, Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot Take him. him out! Ah, I'm certain whatever is on his arm is incredibly perilous. Well, we'll never know where they were going now. Well, that was rough going. I think the worst is over. I'll just pull <laughs> over here. Hey, Eddie! Hey, Chuck! I like the flames you painted on your... Oh! Okay, no problem. Got it under control. Just pump the brakes gently. There we go. Mm, uh, temperature gauge is running hot. I wonder what that... Oh, yeah. Mind if I crack a window, Eddie? Not to worry. A next stick came with the car. There goes a very gifted shop student. Shame. Something touched me deep inside the day Eddie Deason died. <laughs> I gotta start monitoring the people I have sex with. Cheryl Ladd in A Soldier's Story. You'll get your drinking badge with this one. <laughs> Come here often. Aren't these places phony? Don't you ever say soldiers to me again! <laughs> Don't be a hero! Hi, honey. I'm a cop now. Was Billy in that car? Well, let's go. Going home. 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 It's a Miss Hathaway alien. <laughs> sure, throw that up in my face. <laughs> up there, brother. Well, I'm not hitchhiking, but if you want to give me a ride, okay. We're going to Iowa City to see the dead. We saw anthrax last night. We got hammered and puked. You know, I should tell you about my ass, gas, or grass policy. Yeah, there I was, 30,000 feet, straight up. Feel the frozen yo-yos, the string broke. Yo-yos. I didn't falter. Just kept on going, man, I knew. I knew Nirvana was straight around the corner. Nirvana. I turned the corner, ran smack into Betty Crocker. She was running across the sky yelling, you never outgrow your need for milk. I miss Eddie Deason. I looked at her. That's it, baby. It's something else. Then I discovered Poco. All right, man, you know what I mean? He's like a lucid Dennis Hopper. What's he doing? What? But you get out here, it ain't nothing but rattlesnakes and turtles. You may or may not believe this, but I grow my own Mary Jane. Cousin of yours, Mike? What the? Hmm? Hmm? Well, there's just a sign that says Star Wars. <laughs> Reminding one of the movie Star Wars. I hadn't finished reading that. Because hippies are stoned. Stone. Ah. Yeah. Oh, camera rig <laughs> on the side of the van. Hey, you got a camera rig on your car! This guy breasts the tape in front of Steve Alamo for loads of this. All righty then. <laughs> You kill me, my whole commune will hunt you down, I swear. <laughs> you 
you are wrong, marijuana breath. <laughs> I bet the heater's stuck on full blast, too. So the aliens have been sent to Earth to acquire righteous vans. Meanwhile, on a similar road, traffic moves freely. So I wonder what the flaw was that kept Leonard Malton from giving us the full three stars. But alien problems do not exist here at Bearpath, a planned golf community. Four. My mailbox of values. Oh, look, everyone was sending a sheet of paper to everyone else. <laughs> now, why did they call this movie Laser Guys? It's raining porn. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what East Coast Southern California town is this? Leave the Bronx. You are ordered to leave the Bronx. <laughs> Mark Hamill in Falling Down. Ecuadorian bat boy found alive in cave. <laughs> Where am I? Isn't there an information booth around here? <laughs> oh, someone's got a full diaper. Oh, Tai Chi in the morning is so great. Will you help me carry this? It's really heavy. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, our reservations are at eight. Neil Diamond, hot August nights. Don't ever make fun of my ass again. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Killed by vapor action. Really sorry about the whole South thing, Mike. You have Not a valid sir. point, sir. I really do. Nuts. My thing ran out. Got a battery? My ovipositor's sore. Wow, she makes Lorraine Newman look Rubenesque. <laughs> so, ever make it with a mid level bureaucrat? Hmm? Fashions from Sears. Wait, my belt's out the door. No more nights on musty blankets. I'll really miss your open shirts. We'll play REO Speedwagon at your funeral, Billy. This is really where he hits his stride as an actor. <laughs> I guess I should know what it is that the South would do again before I jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, that's that's true. Would you just let that die? Yeah. Okay, let's look in Malton's book. Uh, he gives us two and a half stars. Uh, oh, my favorite year barely edges it out with three stars. Oh. oh, look here. Hannah and her sisters is superior only by one star. Oh, wow. Oh, great. Now a tire fire starts just off camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, hey, Leonard Malton mm -hmm. gave the same two and a half stars to my dinner with Andre. Mm -hmm. Name of the Rose? This is a better film than Name of the Rose. It only got two stars. <laughs> Being there, two stars. Uh, yeah. Lucas Tanner, the movie was directed by Richard Donner. I, I just thought I'd point that out. Oh, good, thanks. Let me see here. Wait a minute. You mean, mean to tell me Ron Mazak and Eddie Deason get billing over Roddy McDowell? <laughs> Look, Mike, Birdman of Alcatraz, three stars, marginally better than Laser Blast. They spelled Roddy McDowell's name wrong. What else you got? Oh, here we go. Full Metal Jacket, three stars. Hmm? Shame oh, hey, Seven Samurai, two stars. What? I'm kidding. According to this, A Fish Called Wanda was as good a film as Laser Blast. Oh. Broadcast news, witness, three stars, barely superior to Laser Blast. Mm -hmm. Same for Diner. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here we go. Hey, this was a better movie than Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Two well, stars. that's possible. And the same caliber as Last Crusade, two and a half stars. Yep. And, uh, and yet, blame it on the bellboy, four stars. Where? What? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm you cheats. So Kim Milford's greasy Popeye performance was every bit as good as F. Murray Abraham's tortured performance as Salieri and Amadeus. According That's to Leonard Malton, yes, my yes. Baghdad Cafe, brilliant, subtle comedy, no better than Laser Blast. Here's where it gets hard. Harry and the Hendersons is every bit as good as Laser Blast. Carson McCullers' classic, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, no better than Laser Blast. No. Oh, oh, oh. John Schlesinger's Oscar-winning thriller, Marathon Man, 
on par with Laser Blast two and a half stars. Right. So Lawrence Olivier's chilling performance is Zell, the White Angel, no better than the butt faced sheriff in Laser Blast. Again, according to Leonard Malton, yes, Mike. Okay. Yeah, look here, look here. Outlaw Josie Wales and Unforgiven. Oscar winner quintessential westerns. Eastwood at his finest. However, I think you know where we're headed with this, Mike. Uh, yeah. Same as Laser Blast, Same two and, laser and a half stars. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple more. Sophie's Choice. Uh-huh. Uh, here's one. Willy Wonka and the, the Chocolate, Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. Mule. The Great Santini. Oh, all I can't believe two that. Two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. Also Same. Ace, quality. by the way. Yes, <laughs> Ace. Pierce to Laser Blast. 